Hey guys, it's Tilly, and um, if you guys don't know who I am, uh, I used to make YouTube videos. My track record at the moment is pretty terrible, but uh, I'm back today with a video that I hope a few of you guys might like, and it's basically just book recommendations on YA books that have little to no romance. Come on, don't we all kind of just want to read some books sometimes where people don't fall in love and have a happily ever after? We're not really asking for much. So I'll get started straight away, and the first one that I have as a recommendation is A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. This is an original idea by Siobhan Dowd, or I hope I'm saying that correctly, it could be Siobhan, Siobhan Down. Either way, this book has just been adapted into a movie and it is quite an amazing movie as well, but I still would never forget the emotional reading of this story. This book I think mainly focuses on family more than anything else. It follows the story of a young boy called Connor and something terrible is happening in his life and on one night a monster shows up and this monster is hungry for one thing only and that is the truth. And like I said, it is an emotional toll, this book. It's fantastic, but it will definitely make your heart hurt. The next book is Demon Road by Derek Lang. I have not yet to read this book, but I have heard amazing things about it from several people and they have told me that this book has little romance in it. It's about a young girl called Amber and Amber has to go on the run when she basically finds out that her family secret is that she is a demon. Yay! And now for historical fiction that has little romance in it, Between Shades Grey by Ruta Sepides. Ruta Sepides is absolutely amazing and fantastic writer and every time she writes a new book I automatically buy it because she is wonderful. This follows the story of a family that basically get taken from their home and taken to Siberia to work in camps there and it is I think the mum, the younger brother and the daughter who get put into the same camp, their father is taken into a different one and you follow their story as they pretty much just try to survive and this too is a very emotional story but it is really really good. I have like hay fever really bad at the moment so if I'm like sniffling or I sound like I got a blocked nose or my eyes are going red just pretend that I look okay. Please. Next up is a really fun read. This is kind of middle grade, but I'm pretty sure you guys have all like read this book or heard of it at least. And that one is Magnus Chase and the Sword of Summer. And I'm sorry I grabbed the ARC copy, but there's the title. Um, this one is by Rick Rawdon, who is pretty much known for writing really fun, easy to read, hilarious books that everyone can pretty much enjoy. And in this one, there is no romance. The second one is out now, and I haven't actually read it yet, so I don't know if there will be. But this was really, really good. It just follows a bunch of kids as they try to survive really. Another book that I think is kind of like middle grade slash YA but is also fantastic at the same time is Akane by Lynette Noni. This is also a book based on magic and friendships and it's really really good. I do think that there will be romance later on in the series and I think it's been hinting at it in the second book but in this book it is literally just Alex and her friends as she tries to figure out her magical powers in this magical new world. And for more fantasy, Sabriel by Garth Nix. This one is really really good. It is a big high fantasy and has no romance in it so make sure you guys pick it up. You guys thought that this book would make an appearance in the video? <laughs> pish posh. We have The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. This one has a little romance in it. There is like little bits of it woven throughout the story but it is never the main plot of this book and so I think it definitely includes to be in here especially because it's an amazing book. Do I need to tell you guys a plot or do you guys know it? Either way, read it you'll find out. Another book that I give high praises to is Bird by Crystal Chan. This follows the young story of a girl called Jewel and the day that she is born her brother ends up um dying and she basically lives in his shadow the rest of her life and as she's coming of age she decides that she really just wants to get down to the roots of the story and what happened and bring her family all back together. It's kind of a funny story by Ned Vizzini. Once again this one has little romance in it. There is parts of it but it's not the main point and this book it it's kind of eye-opening, it gives you a lot to think about and it's really really great. It's contemporary and I'm sure you guys have heard of it before but it is really good and I know I just said it's good like six times but just trust me, it's good. And lastly, this book, I'm not entirely sure, some people might say there's romance in it, I don't think there is romance in it. I think it's kind of like the second book might have it in it, but this one does not, and that is This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. So this is another fantasy, and it's really hard to describe the world that they have, but it's kind of like split in two, and there's these monsters, and it's like really hectic, but anyway, you've got these two kids that are just trying to survive, but they're supposed to be also like arch enemies, and... <sighs> I'm doing a terrible job at explaining this. Either way, if you guys like Victoria Schwab, she also wrote A Darker Shade of Magic and Vicious and I think something else, but I can't think off the top of my head. Maybe not. Maybe it's just this. I don't know. But she's a really good writer and if you guys like her, then you guys should read that. So there you guys have some book recommendations that have no romance in it because what is better than romance? 
puppies, reading, many, many other things. Who really needs it, right? Not my lonely heart. Remember, you guys are all brave, strong, independent, and wonderful people, and I love you all very much. And thank you guys for sticking by me in this time of really undecidedly uploading of videos. I hope you guys have a lovely bookish day and hopefully I should see you guys again soon. Bye! Hey guys, it's Tilly and I swear one day I will go back to posting videos regularly. At the moment, I just can't seem to reach that deadline.